Let me just pivot off what John just said, because he said in his early remarks, we need a little more offense from the government. We in the private sector don't do offense. That actually might be one of those big new ideas in terms of recalibrating how it is we have to conduct ourselves in this new cyber domain. If you think back long enough in history, uh, there are examples where the private sector was indeed responsible for its own defense, and private enterprises did a lot more than we think private enterprises should be doing right now in, in physical space. I mean, Google, for heaven's sakes, was, attack, was attacked by the People's Republic of China. Now, I've only been in the private sector for under three years, but I don't think that's normal commercial behavior. Okay? <laughs> Depends where. Yeah. Well, I think there's, yes. And, and, so, and so we may come to a point where defense is more actively and aggressively defined even for the, even for the private sector. And what is permitted there is something we would never let the private sector do in, in physical space. I mean, you look, look, well, I mean, let me, let me really throw out a bumper sticker for you here. How about a digital Blackwater? Okay. I mean, we, we have privatized certain defense activities, even in physical space. And now you've got a new domain in which we don't have any past trampled down in the forest in terms of what it is we expect the government or will allow the government to do. And in, in the past, in our history, when that has happened, the private sector expands to, to fill the empty space. I'm not quite an advocate for that, but these are the kinds of things that are going to be put into play here very, very quickly. We may have inherited some of our finest qualities from parents and grandparents, but like anything else, there is a downside. Part of that inheritance could be a disposition to a variety of deadly diseases. But the good news is that since the mapping of the human genome, science has made some giant leaps in detecting and treating inherited conditions. By detecting those genes, for example, that predispose women to breast cancer, doctors can offer preemptive treatment. Sounds simple enough, but there's a catch. A woman may have that gene, but strange as it seems, the gene is really the property of a biotech company that's taken out a patent on it. So far, nearly 10,000 human genes have been patented. All of the patents are now in question based on a court ruling just this past week. Because as Morley Safer reports, whether you like it or not, under the current law, a vital part of who you are actually belongs to someone else. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Global Government News. Today is Tuesday, August 2nd, 2011, and I'm Darko. GGNonline.com is my website. That's GGNonline.com. Uh, DDarko2012 is the YouTube channel, and Global Government News Group is on Facebook, so check that out. Uh, most, if not all, the links will be posted in YouTube's video description, so scroll down there and check that out uh, in the order that they were presented. Um, as far as this goes, it's just complete crap, and... Um, I mean, you know, I stopped. I was going to go on, but it's just like, oh, the, oh, the, the sorry story. And, you know, it is a sad story when people have cancer and they're dying. Um, but there's a way to avoid this. And uh, they're using this, just like they use those poor people in Africa and Somalia as political cannon fodder. They're using these people that are dying as political cannon fodder. I mean, the best that they could, they could hope for maybe is what uh, is uh, to be radiated and have uh, chemo and all that. And... Um, so, I mean, it, if we were getting the nutrient, the nutrition that we were supposed to be getting, uh, i.e. laetrile, into our body, into our um, systems, we would be healthier. We would look healthier, and we would not have as many cancer uh, uh, cases as we do now. Now it's like an epidemic. Um, and our food is also, at the same time, the worst it's ever been. It's been the most uh, unnutritious and unhealthy it's ever been. And you really have to be on your guard. You really do. And I commend um, uh, family members that do that when I recommend it, uh, some more than others, um, because they, you know, they, they're seeing what it is. They're reading stuff when they go to the store now. Oh, you know, no, MSG, oh, five fructose corn syrup, oh, blah, 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 blah. And all the crap that they, that they put in there, and they hide it in different names. And, uh, you know, you should be offended by that. You should be offended that these companies are putting this junk in, into their product and then expecting you to just consume it and not care about your health. But, uh, you know, 
Now, if you want organic food, real organic food, you're going to have to pay for it. Now, with the economy being the way it is, you don't really have the money to pay for it. So this is all warfare. This is warfare on every single person. And, uh, you know, uh, for the bio labs to want to be able to do what they want to do, um, owning uh, patents on human genes, uh, they'll get what they want. You can be rest assured of that. I, I can't stop that with this video, or I don't think any protest of the government will do it. Um, they just have to be able to um, uh, put out propaganda like this, probably authorized and, and steered by the government, uh, scripted by the government, and, uh, you know, they'll get what they want. They, all they have to do is fool the sheeple and coerce the sheeple into allowing them uh, the power to do whatever it is that they would like. So I think I'm done with that. Oh, besides the fact that, uh, you know, they go in there and say that this is uh, all genetics, genetics, genetics. They keep saying that. I want to make one quick point here, and then I have to move on. It's, inv it's environmental. It's not just genetic. This is environmental. Many of the problems that people have are environmental. Arthritis, yes, you know, it could be genetic. Can you do things to subside the effects of it? Yes. You know, um, but uh, this whole thing with cancer is just a bunch of bullshit, and it sells a lot of money, and... Um, you could check out G. Edward Griffin's A World, uh, was it, a World Without Cancer, but um, basically he talks all about Laetrile B17 and um, how the rates have escalated since they took out grain millet and a lot of things that had uh, uh, Laetrile in it. And um, so it's environmental, and it's, uh, it's not solely genetic, and uh, we're not superhumans. We're here, uh, souls and bodies. That's the way I, I, I see it. That's, you know, just my own view. You don't have to agree with me 100%, but... Uh, you know, we're not perfect, and we're here, you know, living our little lives here. We're not trying to be superhumans, and we're not here to stop souls from coming into bodies, and car you know, incarnating because they're inefficient. That's, no, that's, this is just getting way out of hand and creepy. So let's move on here. TSA to put hub flyers on the spot. And, uh, of course, you know, you have programs now where, uh, where, um, uh, parents can do all kinds of gene tests to see if their parent, their children are going to be the next Superman, right, or the next president. And if they're not, oh, maybe they won't have them. And, of course, that falls under what? Planned Parenthood, which falls under what? Uh, eugenics, which is basically what? Population control. TSA to put hub flyers on the spot. So I'm skeptical of the new security program. This is part of a security force whose uh, competency has come under the nation, uh, fire under nationwide, talking about the Boston TSA screeners. They'll soon be carrying out sophisticated behavioral inspections under a first in the nation program that's already raising concerns about racial profiling, harassment. And they already do this. They already do behavior uh, <clears throat> profiling. Uh, they have TSA uh, people inside uh, the airports, I'm not sure if they're actual TSA or they're just uh, different types of agents that are looking at you and they're looking at your at your facial expressions and that. So that's already going on. The training for the Israeli-style screening, a projected $1 billion national program dubbed Screening Passengers by Observation Techniques, kicks off uh, today at Logan International Airport. It said, uh, requires screeners to make quick reads of whether passengers pose a danger of a terror or a terror threat based on their reactions to a set of routine questions. Hmm. So that's why I say I'm not even going to walk or step into an airport ever again. I haven't since 2005. Modesty protected by new airport body scanners. So see, ooh, look at that. They just took it away. So now it's going to... It's going to make the slaves happy now that they don't see their private parts and their gonads. So, but you're still, uh, you know, if you don't want to be radiated, uh, you can go and you can get molested and uh, have, be humiliated by these uh, uh, bastards that steal money and, and molest children, basically. Passengers will be very relaxed about the new body, full body scanner at the Sydney airport, and says Federal Transport Ministry. When people see what this technology is, they will be very relaxed about its introduction. It's incorporation. Uh, you know, it's uh, incorporating into society, right? And uh, it says here, Nashville women arrested for refusing to let TSA agents molest her daughter. And uh, you can go in there and check that out. Just there's always stories coming out. New TSA theft leaves teens bag a hundred dollars lighter. So that's uh, pretty crazy. At JFK Airport, that says virtual people to get ID checks. The faces and behavior of online avatars could help identity. 
uh, identify the people controlling them scientists. It can be used for uh, marketing purposes. It can be used for forensic tracking of avatars. The technology may also have implications for security. Oh, well, that's what every fucking thing is made for, for security, and they always use it for something else. It says here, uh, Facebook update. And what do you think is going to happen with that patent and stuff with them genes? You're talking about Brave New Worlds type stuff, um, Huxley type stuff, where, uh, you know, you're going to have babies being born in incubators, and then you have to go to the state in order to even procreate so facebook update that announces you are having a baby criticized for being creepy and weird there's also concern that social network is targeting expectant parents for advertisers and it says facebook lets expectant parents add unborn children to friends and family i heard that on this uh, 101 network on q uh what used to be q101 in chicago and that channel is just horrible it is just pure propaganda I, I almost think that it's that it's actually just a front for uh the pentagon it's a front company for the pentagon and that these people working there are just uh uh they're just they're just reading off a script directly from uh the, uh, the government because it's just it's so obvious i mean all they do is talk about crap like that and they don't say anything about it being bad or negative or or their own thoughts or anything it says here build small flying spy drone that cracks Wi-Fi and cell data so it goes to safety Wi-Fi networks may be in danger from small threats flying above us it says an air airplane hobby shop owner and ex-air force official team out to create a drone that cracks into Wi-Fi and cell phone not wanting to get into legal trouble with AT&T and T-Mobile they tested the technology in isolated areas to avoid recording phone conversations other than their own then we have dragonfly drones and cyborg moths, uh, tiny flying robots set to be the future of spying and rescue missions. That's right, bird on the wires uh, could actually be uh, uh, a spy drone. So here are the very real plans to put Marines in space. U.S. Air Force prepares a space plane for the next week's launch. U.S. Marine Corps uh, plans its own ride through orbit. Then we have oxygen spotted in Constellation Orion and Foxconn to replace workers with one million robots in three years. Judge invalidates human gene patent. So you go down there. It says a judge struck down patents on two genes linked to breast and ovarian cancer. And uh, this was back in March of 2010. And isolated human genes can be uh, patented. U.S. court rules good for DNA research but could lead to overpriced diagnostics. Sorry, diagnostics. And then uh, we have GMOs killing off monarch butterflies report finds and then we have monsanto spawned superweeds growing three inches daily destroying farm equipment new epa approved dupont herbicide linked to widespread killing of trees authorities unconcerned and most of the hoopals aren't even either they see all the chemical spraying going on they see trees dying and stuff like that they don't say anything do they observe it no nation of pill poppers nhs prescriptions have soared 70 percent in the past decade and schools are failing our brightest youngsters as a third of 11 year olds fail to grasp reading uh, writing and math and they're not failing that's the whole damn point I've I've seen the video with the person with the representative who used to work for the Department of Education and she said that their point is that their whole purpose the Department of Education education itself is to brainwash the students it's to change the way they think to make them collectivists and to not fight the system to so solve they're doing a good job and to dumb them down more primary pupils hit educational targets so uh, a little double thing for you like that Alabama immigration law won't keep kids out of school and that's what they're saying it's going to keep illegal immigrants out of school don't worry the dream act was passed so if you're a legal immigrant you can get college taxpayer funded college tuition and um, and don't worry in Alabama even if you're a legal immigrant you can still go to school and have uh, property taxpayers uh, uh, you know, pay for it. That's cool. All good. It says uh, CDC 1 in 12 now has asthma and it says uh, U.S. asthma rates have increased 12% in just a decade. And look at this. Electromagnetic frequency exposures and asthma linked in kids. Children and mothers who are highly exposed to electromagnetic fields during pregnancy are more likely to develop asthma. What about those poor people that are living under these Wi-Fi towers and power lines and that more cases of rickets turn up in U.K., lack of sunshine, exposure to blame and vitamin d of course breastfeeding can save children's life and another story u.s hospitals lacking in breastfeeding support says study documents reveal a new hospital breastfeeding bungle and it says hospital and uh, woman given uh, wrong baby to breastfeed. So crazy story. A professor who wrote coalition health policy was paid by drug firms. School drugs counselor who turned dealer in uh, 11 million heroin ring is jailed. So law graduate was caught with a 1.36 million of heroin in a suitcase. North Carolina may compensate sterilization victims from back in the day when they did it forcefully. Then parents risk jail for skipping polio drops. So 
Also against their will, a judge blocks Kansas law aimed at Planned Parenthood so that it would stop federal uh, family planning money from going to Planned Parenthood. So radiation hits highest in Japanese nuclear plant, and then it says that it's off the scale. The U.S. returns 33 Mexican troops who strayed into Texas. Hmm, they just strayed in there. It's a North American Union. So it's here, 7-7 seven, seven survivors and battle for public inquiry into the false flag bombings. This is GGN, and I'm Darko. Thank you, everyone. Take care.